Hello, everyone. Thank you for tuning in to the Creative Council. My name is Natasha, and I know it has been a while since my last video. I've been on sabbatical, so thank you for hanging in there with me. I am back, and today we are going to be talking about dream interpretation made simplified. The reason I want to talk about this is because um, it's a new year. So happy new year. I know it's like been two months, but still. Um, but we have got to come to the understanding that, you know, you don't really need someone to interpret your dreams because you're 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 the interpreter. Like, you have the Holy Spirit. So it's really important for you to not think that you have to have someone, you know. Yeah, obviously, if you don't have a grid, which is why this channel, you know, I've created with the, the elements and symbols to give people a, something to grasp. But it's not supposed to be a law. So anyhow, before I jump into the full um, gamut of uh, making and, and simplifying interpretation, I wanted to just make this comment. So I've noticed that there has been individuals, a lot of individuals in the comment section that tries to uh, say things that are that are saying things that are nasty and that try to come for me directly which is not a good idea but um, all I have to say is if you don't like the channel if you don't like what I have to say if you don't like the content if you don't like the videos if you don't like the dreams that people post be mature and walk away that is going to be your best bet and that's going to be the best thing for you to do because it will not end well for you if you're sowing negativity if you're sowing judgment if you're sowing um uh, just bad negative things and saying things about people's dreams or just the, you know sowing um fear and all of that nonsense you are going to reap it you will have the fruit of your lips you will eat the fruit of your lips so my admonishment is to you is to stop it to be mature walk away because it will not end well for you so that's all I'm going to say about that. Moving on. So interpreting your dreams. So I want to say that, you know, dreams are an invitation. So you should know that when you're dreaming and when, you know, when you wake up from a dream, you're, there's going to be something that you're needing to do or that you're that's happening. So you're either um, there's either going to be a revelation, something that you're seeing you didn't see or something that's being revealed you didn't know about a call to action. There's maybe dealing with uh, spiritual opposition that's happening or some issues that are um, taking place or about to take place that the Lord is wanting you to confront. So it's an invitation to confront those things. It's an invitation to go deeper into revelation. It's an invitation to even step into your next level, step, step into the next things of who God is wanting you to be. It could be an invitation to intercede on behalf of someone else or a nation or a people group, whatever. Or it can just be a call to go deeper into the things of the Lord. Um, you know, there are different categories to dreams of encouragement, of correction, of um, deliverance, of healing, of intercession, of warfare, you know, all these different categories. But the main thing I want you to just remember is that dreams are invitation and don't get so caught up in because right now we're in the most people are in the kingdom age or the church age mindset. So what that means is, you know, we we'll have a dream, you deal with the dream and you go about your business. But in the ages to come. The dreams are a door. So, and what I mean by that is a doorway into the kingdom realm and to engage um, the Lord on a different level. But that takes maturity and you dealing with your junk as well. Um, but I'm just saying, don't get stuck in this little you know, just dreaming because it can actually, once you mature, it's going to be a doorway for you to engage and to do things that you didn't even know you could do while you're sleeping and doing things for the Lord. So, but that, like I said, you have to deal with your junk before you, you have to mature. That's a maturity thing. But anyway, anyway, I, I digress. So dreams are God's nighttime parables to you. He's going to speak to you and you're in the language you understand. So that's what I'm saying. If, you know, you have a, a banana or whatever shows up in your dream, it can mean something else for you than it does from someone else. Or if you have a dog in your dream, it can be different for you. If you have a cat, if it can be different for you than it can for someone else. And typically, you know, what we do is we'll take bits and pieces of what other people are saying and find the common denominator with a simple, within a symbol. And that will help you. But at the same time, I don't want you to get restricted to a pattern because once you start putting God in a pattern, God in a box, that's when he, he's like standing outside of the box, looking at you, looking around for him inside the box. So just don't get caught up in the, the legalities or the, the structure that it can become. I don't want that to happen. So 
you don't need, like I said, an interpreter. You have the Holy Spirit. He is the one who is going to bring that revelation to you. And these videos, like I said, are tools to help you. Um, they're not to be made a law. They're not to box the Lord in. They give you a grid and a foundation of from biblical principles and biblical perspectives. But don't allow it to be a barrier in which it blocks you, um, blocks from the Lord from really wanting to take you deeper and higher and ex ex uh, into realms, into things that you never even thought possible. So I just want to say that. So let's get into the breakdown of a dream. So when you are dreaming or when you have a dream, you wake up for, from a dream and you want to understand it and you don't know, like I said, you're going to want to um, look to the Lord and you're going to want to log your dream. That's the first key is logging your dream. So what does it mean to log your dream? A log, to log your dream is to date what the date is, the time, location um, of the dream. And you're going to want to record it. Now, you can record it by writing it down and having a dream journal. Although that's kind of dinosaur to me because you have you can record it on a recorder and um, you can actually get a transcript or whatnot. But recorder is, is going to be much more efficient because it you're not going to have to you're not going to take 10 years to write these dreams out. Like if you're so, especially if you're someone who has like several dreams a night, you cannot it's like going to be impossible for you to sit there and write all these dreams out. And then the interpretations like you're not that's all you're going to be doing. You're not going to be able to accomplish what the Lord is wanting you to do if you sit there and just do dreams all day. So recording your dreams is key as far as getting a, vi a voice recorder or whatnot or using your phone to record them. So um, that's important. Now, once you have the dream recorded, then you go to a paper and then you want to look at some uh, the, uh, dynamics of the dream. So you're going to want to look at the focus, the sub focus, the highlights and what the resolution is. Those are the four main things. So and then you're going to also want to um, identify. Um, well, the focus will help you identify who the dream is about. So the focus is going to be the main thing. So for instance, this person had a dream where he was walking this path and there was trees on both sides and it was a bright path. It was light. It was beautiful, very vibrant colors. As he was walking, he was walking slowly, but he was walking forward. This, uh, this dog that was like an amber color, it was like a, uh, um, a golden, a golden retriever. And it came alongside him and it was walk. He was walking with him. And then the dog left and brought him back like a Frisbee. And then the dog left and he brought him back like this, um, this rock that was really like almost like a precious stone. Then he went away and brought, he kept bringing him stuff back and walking with him as he was going forward. And then they came to a point where he was just walking with them, with the guy. And then the guy woke up. So for instance, that dream was showing him. So like I said, practicality, you want to look at the practical thing. So let's break that dream down based on what I just told you about the sub focus focuses and highlights. So the focus of this dream was the guy, right? Let's call him taco. Cause I don't want to use someone's real name. So taco was the main person in the dream, right? And without taco, the dream would not make sense. So you understand who you understand the focus by if you were to remove the focus, the dream would just fall apart. It wouldn't make sense without it. So taco is the, the, the focus of the dream. The sub focuses in this dream would be the dog, the path and the radiance of that place he was walking. So those are things that add to the focus, right? So you have the focus, the sub focuses, and then you have the highlights. What would the highlights be? So the highlights would be the color of the dog, the things that the dog was bringing back, right? The cobblestone that the, the man was, uh, that taco was walking on, right? Those are highlights. So a highlight in a dream is going to be the colors, the numbers, things that really stand out. Those are highlights, right? So now that you have this like in a, almost like a web form, if you get what I'm saying. So you have a basis of this dream mapped out. Now you take it and you add some context by an understanding by sitting with the Lord and just thinking through practically what these things can, what these things mean and, and being led by the Lord, obviously. So a dog. Now, if Taco was someone was who was afraid of dogs, that would not have been a good thing. But Taco is not afraid of dogs. So Taco had this dog coming up to him and the dog was a golden retriever. So and it was an amber color. It had the glory on it. Right. So this was of the Lord and dogs are known as man's best friends. Right. So it was a friend that was coming alongside him on the path 
or the way, there is a way that seems right to a man, but in its end leads to death, or it could have been the path of life or the path of righteousness. There's different paths that the Bible talks about, especially in Proverbs. So this was not a bad path. This was not a path of death. This is not a negative path. We know that because it was radiant and it was vibrant and the colors were living. There were living colors in it. And then so Taco and the dog are walking. The dog goes away and re- gets stuff. He's retrieving. He's a retriever. That's a golden retriever. So this friend is adding to him this as, on his journey as he goes forward and as he's walking towards what God has for him. So there's something God is bringing in his life, a person who is going to walk beside him and who's going to add to him. And, um, you know, within the context of what his life had been in the past or whatever, you know, that could be a great thing, especially if you have people who only take from you. Um, but anyhow, so God, the overall gist of the dream was looking at the sub focus, the uh, 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 focus in the highlight. God is bringing a purse, a friend into your life that is going to add to you and help you walk the path that he's called you to walk out. Um, this is a path that he has set you on. It is a path that has good things, but he's bringing help and someone in to help you along that path. Simple, right? So the, re, the, the call to action to this dream would be to ask the Lord now because you want to respond. And that's another thing. The more you respond and you value dreams, the more dreams you'll get and the more revelation you'll have. So you want to respond in the right way. The action that needed to be taken in this dream was for him, for Taco to go to the Lord and ask him, you know, I'm praying to that Lord. Well, I thank you for this friend that you're about to send in my life, Father God. And I ask that you will uh, help me to see who they are. Lord, I ask for, you know, whatever the attributes, you know, the, that he will be a person that carries your glory because it was golden, carries the anointing, someone who's adding and not taking away someone I can walk with. I thank you for that, Father. And I bless you for what you're about to do. And, um, you know, and just rejoicing and just an action. So now if it was a, for instance, if it was a dream where, you have someone chasing you. That's not a good thing, obviously, um, or trying to hit you or beat you up. Then the call to action, that would be obviously a dream, that warning or warfare or something of that nature or a dark dream. But that's something you need to do. Your re- resolution would be an action of either canceling that dream, bringing that dream into uh, the courts to be dealt with, um, depending on the legalities of it, but also um uh, confronting what was being uh, come opposing you in the dream. So that would be the action and dealing with it from that perspective. So I hope that makes sense. I don't want this video to be too long, but just to go over a recap really quick, the breaking down of a, a dream and how to interpret it for yourself. You log it, you date it, you get a title for it if you can, it's a time and a date location. Focus on, uh, write down the focus, the sub-focus, the highlights. Those are three things. The resolution, record that. And looking at the, um, when you get those focuses and sub focus and all those things, how you break those things down is to look at the practicality of it, especially in a light of the word of God, if you want to accurate um, uh interpretation. And as you build this out, you're going to have vocabulary now in a language for how God communicates with you individually. So that's very important to really pay attention to. So anyhow, I hope this video was helpful. Thank you guys so much for rocking with me um, these last couple of years. I just bless you. Um, and don't forget to like and subscribe if this video has blessed you. And I'll see you in the next one. Till next time, be healed, be whole, be free. Bye.